y'all what is up and welcome back to my channel for a brand new let's play so on my channel i like to bring a variety of sims games so we have the sims 2 the sims 4 and since i got a brand new computer i figured i would see how the sims 3 runs on it with these graphics and thank the sim gods that it's running very smoothly i'm going to try my hardest not to overload it with cc to have it crashing and whatnot but anyways i put a poll out on twitter asking you if you would like to see a sims 3 let's play and of course the majority won so here is our sims 3 let's play i also put another poll out in honor of fall all things spooky coming up if you guys would be interested in a expansion pack supernatural oriented focused lp and that one won as well many of you were excited about it i'm excited about it because honestly back when i used to play the sims 3 my mom bought my expansion packs for me and i was always taught that this was evil <laughs> and um while i do think you know witchcraft stuff like that it's kind of you know but this is a game this is a game i can buy my own stuff now i don't think it's gonna send me to hell or anything i think we're good and i'm really excited i've been you know planning this working on this for a few days now um, i'm still learning so bear with me because i've never played in moonlight falls um, I have never played with any of the supernatural stuff in The Sims 3, so it's an experience for me and you. <laughs> so if you guys are, you know, a natural at Supernatural Sims 3 and you have any um, tips, helpful tips down below, down below, leave them down below. But anyways, without further ado, let me introduce you to our family we're going to be focusing on. It consists of four different Sims, all different supernatural beings, which I'm super excited about to see how they're all going to like live together. But this is their house. Uh, I downloaded this house from the Sims resource. I just found that it's easier that way <laughs> because you get all of the furniture sets too, you know, pro tip. But anyways, apparently this is a house inspired off of the TV show, Supernatural. Uh, didn't know that. I've never watched that show, but I figured, you know, it would fit in quite nicely. It was big enough for everybody. So let me go ahead and introduce you to our Sims here. So right here, let me put the walls up here so we can get a good view of him. <laughs> this is Mr. Asher McAllister, and he is our vampire Sim that we are going to be playing with. So right now, he is uh, drinking some plasma juice. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with this fact, vampires came with, you know, nightlife in The Sims 3, or a late night, whatever it was called. So, they're not new to the supernatural, you know, theme, but they are a supernatural being, and, you know, why not have a vampire? So, here we are with Mr. Asher McAllister. And this house, I will give you a tour of. It's actually his house. He um, just moved back here. Uh, to where his family is from and inherited this house that his family grew up in and these fellow supernatural f beings in his family that we will meet they're not even really friend but they all you know went off to like supernatural school or whatever together and they kind of like were in the same kind of group so he invited them back because where they're from there's not a lot of supernatural beings and so he welcomed them in they're still not on like friendship level with him unfortunately so they're all kind of like freaked out thinking they're going to be hunted but let me go ahead and tell you his traits so he is a night owl he is irresistible i mean he's super he's super fine he is perspective perceptive and a hopeless romantic and he is very proper so yeah um all of his favorites all that's kind of not important to me he doesn't have a career yet he does want to join the investigator career i do want them to have jobs and everything because you know just because they're supernatural doesn't mean that they can't you know have a life you know so yeah this is mr asher Next up, we have Rowan Wolf. Yeah, you see what I did there? Very creative, right? So this is obviously, you guessed it, our werewolf, which, ugh. You know, bring it back to the Twilight days. I was definitely Team Jacob. I was Team Werewolf all the way. So, uh, whew, y'all. He is fine. He is my type to a T. He's a little hairy, but that's okay. It's manly, if you ask me. <laughs> but this is Rowan Wolf, so he is our werewolf. Uh, his traits, he is brooding. Mm. He is a daredevil, hot-headed, a heavy sleeper, and a dog person. So, yeah, he doesn't have a job either, but he does want to join the law enforcement career. So, you know, we may have him do that. So, yeah, Rowan Wolf here. And next we have Aradessa. What's her last name again? Haven. <laughs> Aradessa Haven. Um, 
I'm trying to I'm trying to see you girl okay we're gonna peep at her right here <laughs> through the bushes but this is our fairy obviously our Odessa we're gonna call her Odessa for short or Desi whatever anyways her traits she is, uh, oh, I was just there and I messed up, didn't I? Yep. She is a social butterfly. She is dramatic. She's a bookworm. She's clumsy and she is a green thumb. And she wants to join the science career, so we're going to have her do that as well. But I think she is so cute, y'all. I love fairies. Where has the supernatural been my whole Sims 3 experience? Because fairies are... Are the cutest things I've ever seen in my life <laughs> and I love her personality the fact that she's like just very social and she's so dramatic and she's clumsy and she's just very she's a character all right and I really really like her and I think her and Rowan they've been getting on pretty well if you ask me so hmm, I don't know they just naturally been like a uh, they're compatible too but they've definitely been hitting it off so we'll see how that goes and then we have Miss Sybil Ravenwood over here in the kitchen cooking for us you can't really see her beautiful face right now but she is our witch and you know I was thinking you know a witch typically you would think oh dark hair dark clothing but I wanted to make her blonde and very sweet and kind of like not what you would expect from a witch um, but to her traits she is shy she is good she is excitable she's a cat person and she's friendly so she's just a very shy but sweet tender-hearted sim who likes to practice magic which honestly i'm super excited about doing the little witchcraft stuff on here i got her broom and her wand and everything set up in her room upstairs so i'm super excited about that um she doesn't have a career either and so far she hasn't like mentioned you know to me and her wants that she wants to join a certain career so you know we're just gonna have to see uh you know explore her her wants and needs to figure out you know what we want to have her do in her life but uh yeah with that being said oh oh y'all i completely forgot to show y'all their lifetime wish okay so asher's is to turn the town so he wants to uh turn everybody into vampires and he does feed on humans as well he's not um vegetarian <laughs> or whatever you want to call it even though right now he is drinking plasma juice uh he was just a little thirsty and i didn't feel like going hunting right now um and rowan he is a well, his lifetime wish is to be leader of the pack so basically he wants to convert people into werewolves as well he doesn't see it as a curse it's been in his bloodline forever he you know he wants to continue you know the bloodline and our Odessa, she wants to um do magic makeover which you basically grant 12 different sims inner beauty so um she sees the beauty in everybody she's very char charismatic and just sweethearted so i thought that would fit her perfectly and then sybil she wants to be the mystic healer so basically she wants to cure um 12 different transformed sims using sunlight um she just basically wants to cure people of the curse you know some people find that you know being supernatural is a curse and so she wants to be able to heal them from that if they so wish so yeah that is them in a nutshell are our sims here so let me go ahead and give you a quick view of the house you know this is an introduction part so bear with me lots of talking a lot of introducing to do but anyways downstairs on the main floor uh, I didn't do any decorating, which is why it's so great to just download it from um, <laughs> the Sims resource. So they have uh, this main little living area with a bar. It's really nice. Um, there's a kitchen down here, dining, another little living area. It's a very big house. And then this right here is Asher's bedroom. Um, Iridessa looks like she's playing on his computer. And then right here, um, it's like a little storage hidden room. Not really sure, but I put him a little coffin in here. Um, since he is a vampire and then we have the little what is this called magic ball I don't even know y'all forgive me I <laughs> I'm not too too smart when it comes to all the supernatural stuff but yeah crystal ball that there you go <laughs> and what else is downstairs the bathroom oh over here is like a little wine cellar you know I figure we you know we could do that for fun you know make some wine collect wine and then upstairs we have a whole nother living area i i don't really get it <laughs> but you know there's this many sins living in this house so it works but here's a little sitting area a little um i guess entertainment area another kitchen and dining um and then 
well yeah i think that's all and then on the third story uh we have our bedrooms up here so this right here is iridessa's room and then over here this is sybil's room there's her little broom she's got a little deck out here which is really nice and then this is where rowan's going to be sleeping i really need to make his room less girly i will do that i promise and then of course we have their bathrooms and everything but yeah that's their house but also out here uh, this is our Dessa's little fairy house, so she can come over here and do all her little fairy stuff and, you know, have a little throw a fairy house party. If that's not the cutest thing, I don't know what is. Oh, and then over here we have a little garage with a little car in it, so. <laughs> Open world and cars. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> it's been a hot minute. But anyways, yeah, I guess we can just go ahead and jump into the gameplay. Um, I guess what we're going to do for this part, I know it's mostly me, like, introducing everybody to you, but I think we're just going to, you kind of, like, have them explore town and, um, join careers and that sorts of stuff, but he was thirsty, and I think they're all pretty hungry, so I have her cooking, uh, some, I think, salad. They don't have any skills. I'm kind of working from the bottom here. I could have cheated and done all that, but you know what? I just, I can't bother to do it right now, so we're just gonna have them get all their needs up, and I do want them to go around town, because like I said, this town, or world, Moonlight Falls, I think that's what it's called. I hope it's Moonlight Falls. If not, I just, I just sound silly. Uh, like, I don't know what I'm talking about, which I, I really don't, but you know. What is that stank face for? I'm telling y'all, he is so beautiful. I can't even, that hair just want to run my freaking fingers through it. And you know, me with the Sims, I have crushes on them and it's, why, hold up, grab a plate. Why did it, why did he just change into his formal wear? Does anybody know? No, I don't know either. But let's, everybody's hungry. I want y'all to please eat, but I really want to know, what was that? Why was he, is he attracted to her? What was that? <laughs> Why are you all dressed up? What are you doing? Oh, whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. What, what is that? I just seen somebody. What is this? Oh, it's another fairy. She looks kind of mean. Paparazzi. Okay, well, they're. <laughs> I can assure you, they're not coming over here. There's nothing to see over here. Oh, I hate the paparazzi in The Sims Three. I might have to like get rid of them but okay it's like seven o'clock and he's supposed to be a night owl uh what i want to do real quick is have him where's his little we're gonna have him come over here to his little coffin and do a little slumber so we can play with him uh as far as rowan and werewolf being a werewolf i don't think there's really much to do i think he'll just you know once it's a full moon he'll transform right um, and I know that with Aridessa and Sybil, you know, they can work on their magic and all of that and level up that way. So I think what I want to do is have Aridessa and Sybil go together, um, maybe and buy some stuff for potions, you know, that there's a little shop we can, we can do that. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure what I'm looking for, honestly, but they're getting a little sleepy, so it looks like they're going to be go into bed soon but i do want to go into town and do that hopefully before they close um so yeah that's what we're gonna do it's gonna be so cute seeing her fly there um actually you know what i think we're just gonna send sybil okay we're gonna do something with aridessa in the morning when they wake up i really want to take her to the little fairy garden or whatever it's called um but right now i want to take sybil y'all don't mind me i don't know where anything is uh Al Alistair's elixirs and sundries okay yeah let's go ahead and go here we're just gonna go by ourselves oh <gasps> oh my god <laughs> she's on a little broom y'all don't mind me like i said i've never played with this in the sims 3 so this is super cool oh god just take me to hogwarts with you please <laughs> ah i love it okay all right so this is really cool. Alright, I don't even know what I'm supposed to buy. I don't know. I don't know anything. I really need to study. You know? I need to study and see what kind of potions and magic stuff that we need to do certain stuff. So if you guys have any suggestions, you know what? Like I said, please, 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 please leave them in the comments down below. Uh, he looks like he's a... 
he must be a vampire. He's got cracks in a vein, not cracks in his head. <laughs> He's got like veins in his head. Um, yeah, we have wolfsbane flower. Isn't that kind of like important? Fountain of youth, wish enhancing, bottled mummy, uh, gardening, liquid jaw boosters, dump of beeswax, pro procreation, inventing. I don't know any of this stuff. Um, Wolfsbane? I'm just gonna buy that because I feel like that sounds important. Yeah, I just wanted to come to the store <laughs> and look around and buy something. And that sounded like it, something from the Vampire Diaries, you know? But, you know, why not? Can we introduce ourselves to people around town? Because they don't know anybody who, like I said, Asher just moved back here. And um, he hasn't been here since a long, long time. You know, he's old, right? He doesn't die. It's been a minute. So he doesn't, you know, know any of these people. And obviously, Rowan, Iridessa, and Sybil haven't met anybody either. So... We probably should just go ahead and, you know, get to know him a little bit. So, yes, he is a vampire. Um, is there anybody else in the shop? I don't see anybody. I love this with the little freaking fireplace going. It's so cute. Um, yeah, y'all don't mind me. I'm just looking around, just trying to find out what all this stuff is. Name Travel Via Llama. What is this? I don't know what that is. I'm scared travel via llama let's just see what it does y'all if you guys have ever played supernatural on the sims 3 you're probably like really but no really <laughs> i have no idea oh, okay so basically we can it's like a little travel place okay i see oh yeah we can go to the um the, the, the broom place oh yes isn't there I don't know, maybe, is that around town, or is that something we just have to do in our own backyard, where, you know, you can practice flying on the broom and stuff? <gasps> That's really cool, but anyways, guys, I'm gonna have her just go ahead and fly back home, um, because it is getting late, and in the morning, I think we're going to hang out with Iridessa for a little bit. We're gonna try to spend a little bit of time with all of them, um, well, probably not for this part, because, you know, there was probably a hot minute of me introducing The Sims. I don't want this to be, like, too terribly long, because first parts usually are kind of lengthy. Uh, so we may just hang out with Iridessa in the morning, take her to the little fairy land, because I'm excited about fairies. I think they're super cute. And then in the next part, uh, we'll kind of explore things with Rowan and Asher. Uh, just kind of, like, take turns throughout each part, just, just watching their lives develop and see. Look at her getting down. Uh, seeing what they what they get themselves up to and or into my bad uh, ooh, let's have her come up here and go to sleep and I want her to sleep in her fairy house can we do that <laughs> yeah I want her to go into her fairy house and sleep you know why why stay in this big house when you can transform into your little tiny fairy house that's the real question I mean it's not even a question what is he doing consider the hollowness of life <laughs> oh, he must be brooding yeah he's definitely out here brooding but it's uh it's a little bit dark so he wants to buy a bone hilda coffin yeah yeah, yeah. i want to do that i want to do that yeah we're gonna do that but right now i'm gonna have them all get into bed and i'll see y'all in the morning all right so it is the next morning and we have aridessa just chatting with asher and asher is back into his formal wear maybe that's something to do with his proper trait if y'all know please let me know i don't remember that he just wants to look super fancy and proper the whole time i'm not sure but <laughs> hubba, hubba, hubba. Mm -mm -mm. he's gonna have a quick drink at eight o'clock in the morning okay but we have sybil over here making waffles for everybody and then once i get everybody fed i'm gonna have iridessa like i said go to the little fairy place meet some fairies and then we're just probably gonna wrap that part up here or there not here, there, after we meet some fairies because we need fairy friends. Um, okay. <laughs> this is quite a sight. I had set the broom as a preferred mode of vehicle or transportation, whatever, for Sybil. And apparently, I forgot it sets it for the whole household. So, I really wanted Iridessa to use her fairy wings. But she has jacked Sybil's broomstick and is riding to this little fairy garden place. And we're going to search for some more fairies. Oh, but oh, it's a fairy toddler. Hold up. Hold up, girl. She, she's, is she human? And she's got a fa Oh my god, can we get, oh my god. 
That is so cute. Also, y'all, look. I did not do this. Her want. She wants to kiss Asher for the first time. I didn't set that up, y'all. I really didn't. They don't even have a romantic interest, but I'm going to go for it. But anyways, look here. It says, The hunt begins. Our Odessa Haven spies a tiny trace of fairy dust near the South Gardens. Unfortunately, these gardens are filled with large, carnivorous plants. They don't look too hungry for the moment. It seems that our Odessa can either follow the trail into the gardens, contending with the toothy plants, or skip this area entirely and try her luck somewhere safer. What should she do? Let's just steer clear of the plants because um, that sounds quite frightening. If you ask me, I don't really know if I'm, I'm, I could kill her. I don't even know if that's possible. But uh, where did that little toddler baby go? Can I please have you? Oh my God, Sophie! Can I have you? <laughs> Can we not pick up Sophie? Oh, I don't know the family well enough. Okay, well, you know what? It's been a rough start, but Iridessa Haven knows she's getting closer. Following the sound of splashing water, she quickly comes upon a small waterfall that cascades into a decorative pond. It shouldn't be hard for a fairy to cast a spell that allows one to hide underwater. Then again, there's always a secret cave behind the waterfall. Time to get wet. What should Iridessa Haven do? Look in the pond. Why not? We're just going to go for it. <laughs> but anyways, once she gets out of there, I'm going to come over here and, like, greet this family because I'm, I'm interested to see if she's supernatural or if she's human because I really, really want to cuddle her, her little fairy baby. <laughs> That lastly didn't pan out too well, but now Aridessa is closer than ever. This is her last chance. It all comes down to this. Aridessa has followed a path into a small clearing. At the far end of the clearing are two separate paths formed from the local flora. One is composed of a terrifying snarl of thorns, dead flowers, and crawling vines. Above it is a neatly hand-lettered sign reading fairies inside. The other passageway is elegantly lined with ivy and adorned with gorgeous flowers of every color in the rainbow. This one is labeled Certain Doom. Fairies have a weird sense of humor. That is it. Where will our Odessa Haven go? We're just going to go with certain doom. Just, let's see. Ooh. Our Odessa Haven went on the adventure to find the fairies and all she could find were some seeds. Maybe next time. Darn. Okay. You know what? I'm just not going to worry about it. I want to come over here and friendly introduction. Oh, wait. What was that? Friendly, playfully pester. Oh, can we do that? Can we just come over here and like, in our little fairy form? Is, is that what happens? And like pester her a little bit? Hopefully it doesn't bother her too bad. I want to get on her good side. Oh, I love fairies. <laughs> They're so cool. Oh my gosh. Sorry, y'all. This is like new to me. I've never seen this before. <laughs> okay cool all right so can we um chat with her a little bit can we find out what is she? Oh, apparently she's just human so she has a fairy baby okay fairy um tell her a fairy tale maybe and where where did sophie go you shouldn't just let your your little baby wander around this park it's kind of dangerous how well do i have to know her to pick this baby up and take it home. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we learned that Linda is friendly. Where did Sophie go? We lost, you have lost your baby, woman. Oh my God. I don't see her anywhere. Okay, whatever. I'm sure we'll see her around town later. But what else can we do? Play fairy games, talk to baby's breath. What does that do? I don't know. Um, I, I want to meet some more fairies, and this place is not very populated. I don't see any other fairies coming around. I only see the little toddler, and now she's gone. But what is this? Let's pick this Indian blanket. I don't know why. Why not? Just pick a flower while we're here. Take it back for a little souvenir. But anyways, y'all, maybe eventually we'll run into a fairy. Um, that's another thing about The Sims 3 that I don't really care for, is that it seems that every time you go to a community lot... There's not a lot of people, you know, ever. <laughs> Maybe I need to get a mod or something that'll fix that. Not really sure, but let's say she, she's a bookworm, so she's going to read. Um, let's just check on everybody else while she hangs out here. Looks like Rowan is taking a bath because he's a pretty rank right now. Sybil is down here. 
working on her magic with her wand. Ah, and it looks like Asher <laughs> has decided that he wanted to uh, help her out and just, you know, good luck charm. Or maybe she gave him good luck. Was that, is that what she did? I, I'm not really sure. But yeah, looks like I had it all wrong. I thought that Iridessa and Rowan were getting on, but it looks like Asher and Iridessa have a thing. He wants to pillow fight with her and she wants to kiss him for the first time and give him a gift hmm but she wants to cast a conversion spell uh oh is she frozen no 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 unfreeze she wants to cast a conversion spell on plantable ingredient okay i don't know what just happened <laughs> but anyways y'all i think i'm gonna go ahead and just wrap this part up here um, just because this was, like I said, an introduction. I hope you guys are excited to see, you know, what happens in this Let's Play. Oh, okay, she is not being, you know, making friends with Chester here. <laughs> ah, okay, anyways, y'all, uh, yeah, if you have any suggestions for, you know, the storyline with them, please let me know in the comments down below any tips or tricks on fairies related topics witch werewolf vampire whatever please please help your girl out you know i'm gonna have to do my research but if y'all want to help me that'd be awesome anyways y'all i'm super excited and I'm, I'm i'm gonna go ahead and just like end this part now and i'm gonna go ahead and film the second part but you know you won't see that until later but anyways y'all thank you guys so much for watching give it a big thumbs up if you like it subscribe if you have not and i will talk to y'all later